A Spokane woman and her sister's dog are both sporting deep cuts and stitches tonight after they were attacked by a loose pit bull in the neighborhood. It happened Thanksgiving morning at Cedar and Gordon in the Shadel Park area while the woman was walking uh, her dog. KXY Force Jeff Humphrey shows us what happened when owners tried to protect their pets. And it is still not clear how this pit bull that lives a few houses away managed to get loose, although it appears that sometimes he is tied up here in the front yard. Yesterday, he was further up the street when these two women and their pets walked by. The dog was loose, and um, as soon as it saw my two small dogs, it seemed to adopt kind of a stalking predatory behavior. The dog then struck without warning, locking its jaws on this poodle mix named Zen. Both my sister and I were wrestling with the animal, um, pounding on it, trying to get it to release my, my pet, and it didn't seem to have any effect. Fortunately, a neighbor across the street who plays tug of war with his pet knew the trick that makes dogs let go of whatever they're chewing on and blew a blast of air into the pit bull's nose. He was visiting his mom and he came out and he was the one who blew on the nose and clapped in front of the dog's muzzle and that's what got the dog to release my pet. Unfortunately, by then, the pit bull had nearly ripped off Wellington's sister's fingertip and Zen's head and neck were deeply slashed. The doctor was very concerned about whether the throat had been injured. Um, right now, there's continuing concern about whether the tissues that had been ripped away from the bone will heal. So now Zen's racked up more than $900 in emergency vet bills. Wellington's sister is hoping she'll keep her fingertip and no one is answering the door where the pit bull lives. I'm concerned that, uh, you know, the owner has a history of not having restrained the dog effectively. And I'm also concerned about the, whether the dog has shots. So now Spokane officials want this pit bull quarantine so they can watch for signs of rabies. The pit bull could also be declared a dangerous dog. And if that happens, the owner will either have to put him down or maintain a very expensive insurance policy to cover the costs of any future attacks. Reporting in North Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.